Grab your popcorn, guys. Married at first sight delivered in tonight's episode. It was epic. Spoiler alert. If you haven't seen tonight's episode, maybe you shouldn't watch my recap. But if you don't mind, I would get everything covered. All right? Let's get into it. Welcome back guys and welcome to my channel Posh Cat Eyes Unfiltered. This episode has been advertised as the most shocking commitment ceremony yet and oh boy did it deliver. Epically speaking guys. Let's just dig in. We wake up to a wet day in Sydney with Dion finally coming to the realization that he cannot move, you know, Mount, Kil <laughs> Mount Kilimanjaro all by himself, literally. Like, he realized finally after three weeks of the endless back and forth between um, him and his partner, Carolina, he decided, okay, I, I'm not gonna struggle trying to get this chick. I'm just gonna give it up and walk away with my held head held high. He tried, I'll give it to him. Um, he has resolved to leave, and I say it's about bloody time, mate. What took you so long? Selena and Cody are going strong to the point where Matt drunken, uh, Matt drunken antics became a conversation starters for these two. It shows that they are no longer about their problem anymore. Let's dig into other people's um, issues. But again, baby step for these two. We'll see how it goes. And I hope it continuously goes upward for them. We switch right to Matt and Kate. By the way, I love Kate's nightgown. Purple is my favorite color. Where can I get a nightgown from? It was so good on her. Someone, if you know, please share. Um, she's ready to walk and not about to forgive Matt's um, antics the week prior. So I guess this is gonna be done for them. Bloody time as well, because I, 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 I cannot with them anymore. Dominica and Jack are going okay. Tonight we'll be revealing for them as they will have to answer to the experts following the couple's retreat and you guys know all that went down. If you miss it, please go back to my previous recaps and you get the hang of it. Brent and Tamara, they are still in separate apartments, guys. I am sure we'll see them reveal where they are tonight and we might get a sense of what has transpired, you know, or the events that led up to this breakdown in their relationship and in communication. Olivia and Jackson, who knows where they are at? The drama between Dominica and Carolina, as well as um, uh, uh, Olivia, you know, seem to have enveloped their relationship. I really don't know where this is gonna take them to, but whatever, I really don't care. Al and Samantha, well, it's crossroad here. We know Samantha has checked out from this relationship two weeks prior. Will she be leaving tonight? We'll find out very soon. All I can say is that they are all dressed to the nines and if they look fabulous. We see the huddling session going between Jack, Mitch and Matt and they were all revealing where they are at. Jackson to Brent, I saw a side to Olivia that I don't like and it's getting me to question everything. Made question everything. In fact, for your sanity, you might want to uh, leave. But that's up to you. Um, Ella, Dom and Kate had their huddle session with Ella revealing that she's happy in her relationship, that the fact that the relationship is growing stronger and stronger, she's feeling good about it. Tamara, Samantha and Selena sharing where they are at in their relationship. We all know some Tamara is nowhere, anywhere fast, but we'll get to find out more once they get into the hot seat. He left uh, Carolina all by herself trying to make a decision on her own. No surprise there. Um, she's been um, the evil enchanted princess the entire week so I don't even want to associate with that will you want to associate with someone that's that hideous and devilish and just you know damn right ugly nah we don't want that Cody Dion we're expressing you know or where they're at with uh, Dion expressing his clarity as regards to his relationship with Carolina about bloody time again I say this Lou just needs to go and just get himself together and Move on from this crazy ass woman into the hot seats or hot room we go commitment ceremony time guys this is where the um, experts confront the couples to find out where they are at and what has been happening in their relationship and the decision to either stay or leave the experiment for some reason we cannot see Carolina anywhere guys <laughs> I guess we know what happens here he will be walking in 
or she will be walking in with Daniel. Woo Let's just get in. John asks Dion about Carolina and it appears no one has an idea about her whereabouts. Well, we dive in. First up is Dion. I'm emotional for this guy. Um, some men deserve better. He addressed the experts with the situation that had occurred since he stepped into the experiment. It has been a roller coaster ball for him. He is happy to live with dignity, wishing Carolina good fortune. Good guy. The bloke is just amazing. What a bloke. Love me some Dion. I think Kate is already interested. Ah, uh, Dion, you better get Kate's number. Ah, uh, there's something on to that. <laughs> so, we're moving to Ella and Mitch who were up next. They have both had a good week with the retreat helping meet uh Mitch to be you know more social because he had the social anxiety going in from the week prior so he said he gained a new level of respect for Ella who showed compassion to uh, a distressed Dominican and we all know how that went down his feeling is growing and they are looking forward to a life outside the experiment they're already discussing making plans guys thumbs up just keep it that way the decision was easy for them they are both staying with each revealing each other's decision. How cute. So now third up was uh, Brent and Tamara. It was frosty vibes between these two right from the get-go. The experts trying to suss them out. Well, Tamara just sums it up. She said they had a bad week, they fought at the retreat, and they have maintained military silence. Dead pain. Dead pain. <laughs> According to her, Brent wanted more time together at the retreat and she was oblivious to his needs or their needs because she's probably no longer an individual in the, in the relationship but she obviously doesn't think that way. They were unable to communicate effectively after that and uh, it just snowballed into where they are right now. Brent concurred with her version of the events which made him just completely shut down he literally felt you could see how devastated he was it wasn't really good Tamara got words from the group that Brent has feeling for her more than she does him and she feels the relationship isn't going good for her and he is not right for her <laughs> he doesn't bring out the best in her according to Tamara and she was brutal with all of this Brent totally blindsided and in complete utter shock. He felt Tamara should have let him in on where she's at. That way, the decision to stay or leave would have been clearer from his side of things. Tamara's justification for not letting Brent know how she feels prior or how she felt prior to tonight's episode rests on the fact that she only just came to that realization guys like how can you tell me that you only just got to the re fact that you don't want to be in this anymore like while we're sitting down here bs i call bs on that i am totally like dead panning like serious girl stop it stop with your lies anyway the decision came tamara we obviously know she wrote to leave and Brent, none the wiser about where she was or where she is, wrote to stay. He then felt guilty for writing stay and keeping her here longer than she wants to be here. And I feel for the guy. Guy, you don't, don't need to feel guilt. It's not your fault. She didn't communicate. You guys didn't communicate all week. And you felt, okay, I love this girl. I'm going to give it the more. I'm going I'm to give it the, the, the fight that it deserves. And that's where you are at. Hopefully, this week you know get things in perspective for you guys otherwise you can as well exit the way jessica exited as well as daniel um let's just go right to cody cody and selena they are up with the experts and they are celebrating two weeks of growth in their relationship woohoo let's pop the champagne um it feels good between them i didn't know that um there's a level between like 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 and um uh, feels as well as love I had no idea so there's like here and then there's like like here then there's the feels and love you learn every day i guess <laughs> well they're both somewhere outside the like like close to the feels that's what they explained it. i honestly I, could, I just couldn't with this too this is one time they are both staying in this experiment they're staying on to give the experiment a few more goals and see how it helps them sort of defy where they are at 
in their relationship i'm happy for them now let's just get to al and samantha it was a disaster guys it was a disaster it made for ah, an uncomfortable watch we'll just get right into it so they both had a bad week now you all know that from the last commitment ceremony samantha had wrote to leave samantha talked about the argument following the revelation from the last commitment ceremony she felt attacked and gaslighted by al the frost kept building they now live separately who knew i didn't even know that but, but apparently yes samantha calls him an entitled privileged boy kind of agree but i felt her words were very harsh you know what i mean ah and according to her his behavior drives her you know into frustration she's frustrated she then admits to not respecting him and she's just angry at him she literally was stonewalled like everything the experts were telling her she's like yes i am that i did that i'm taking responsibility yes i'm done i want out she has i mean completely checked out of the relationship completely this is what she said she said she knows what she wants and what she needs and wants is not this so she referred to al as this how belittling that wasn't cool wow anyway let's get to the decision guys the decision samantha wrote to leave obviously we're not no surprise there but then i wrote to stay <laughs> this is where it gets really funny samantha was in complete utter shock she was livid she literally like got angry like are you serious what is this guy like we he he knows i'm living like he knows right why is he doing this and then <laughs> this is what i said i said I am here for my personal growth. <laughs> what? Are you kidding? <laughs> Al came to play, folks. He wants to work at being friends. Literally, that is what he said. <laughs> that is what he said. He said, I want to work at being friends. What? Why are you here? We're not here to be friends. We're here to be married up. <laughs> just needs to grow up i can see why samantha is totally frustrated and annoyed dude is just clueless <laughs> and she's there like oh this isn't your an owl this isn't the owl show <laughs> how then has to change his decision when he realized the gravity of what was going on to which the expert decides to give them 24 hours given how bad their situation is samantha i can guarantee you she will be sticking to her decision to leave there is no way that girl is going to stay another 48 hours in fact i'm pretty sure that within 24 hours she might be bouncing out and checking out ah it was just too much and we haven't even started to the gist of the day so we get into dominica and jack who are up next and the camera just zoomed right to olivia you could see her face if looks could kill literally dominica will be dead flat out right there and there she had rage and disgust totally written on her face dominica started off the conversation with the chat she had with the girls that was the catalyst of the chaos because that chat led to jack listening in or eavesdropping and then they got into an altercation which just progressed because it spoiled her day and she couldn't get a handle of herself and her emotions and that just blew up into epic proportion during the girls out and uh, dinner out anyway each time um dominica was speaking the camera would flash to olivia and every time you could see her face doing this like <laughs> i can't even do it. but she was it was pure evil pure evil dom hailed um jack you know as her hero for coming to her aid and supporting her through the hell that was the couple's retreat olivia with the arrows she just can't let go and her take was complete you know and her take was a complete turnaround she then apologizes for lack of articulation or articulating her, her opinion um or she felt she said it the wrong way mm -hmm. concluded that she is happy not being friends with uh dominica we know that olivia you don't need to tell us we're not stupid let's um let's let's just move to i mean like she was olivia just kept 
you know, stabbing, stabbing, and stabbing. I, with each apology, they came a snide comment. Everything was just not right with this chick. She needs therapy and she needs anger management class. I am calling it. That chick is an explosion waiting to happen. Olivia, you know, was responding saying that, oh, now that Dominica is here speaking out, she felt Dominica is more genuine on the hot seat than she was with her apology at the couple's retreat and then at the dinner night. Like, it was just... It was, it was getting away because they kept going back and forth and then Ella uh, interjected saying Olivia, your behavior is inappropriate, you're still going, you should stop, time to stop Anyway, I think we just they had to just somehow shut them up because it was getting to a point where mm -hmm. I didn't want another couple's retreat or a dinner party disaster The decision time came, Dominica is staying and so does Jack No surprise for these two, Kate and Matt Matt, merely mm -hmm. admitting to um the positive change in kate after the last commitment ceremony with kate opening to give him a second chance but his drunken behavior was the deal breaker guys and she saw a lot of things that she doesn't want in a partner period let's just get straight into it the season time came kate right leave and matt decides not to waste his or her time any longer also wrote leave so Finally, for me, these two people are going to be leaving my screen and good luck with whatever decision you guys come up with in your future. Bye! We move to Olivia and Jackson. Guys, this is... So when Olivia and Jackson was called into um, the hot seat, I was just hoping it goes by quickly, right? Because um, I've, had it, I've had, it, I had it up to here with this girl. Like, I'm done. You know anyway Jackson finds the week hectic no surprise there Jackson so did we and he revealed Olivia's enjoys keeping grudges yes mate we should have told you or you should have heard that from us according to him the snide comments were particularly nasty and vicious and he did not like it and guess what Olivia then emphasized oh the the, the fallout from that gave her a massive panic attack like a uh, faked yes <laughs> The expert told him, well, they had seen the side of Olivia and uh, they were shocked that he had not seen it. Well, so did we. And, uh, you know, no surprise, Olivia was like, yes, that's me. I'm nasty. I own this shit. Pride. Give me my sticker. Give me my award for being a bitch. Yeah. Um, she takes it in her, in her pride. With an angry face, Jackson find it, finds it confronting or found it confronting and obviously it's finding it hard to try to navigate through it. According to Olivia, Jackson is challenging her to be better <laughs> but she's happy being who she is what a tool guys decision well as they were about to make that decision in walks Daniel and Carolina drum roll guys with Daniel immediately trying to defend yeah the reason for them being there I was like what what <laughs> you cannot kill. oh it was a treasure trove of commentary for me guys i'm just gonna just eat it straight the group were in complete shock you could see their mouth literally drop to the floor i i i i the experts were in shock and i was just falling off my seat dying of laughter because we sort of knew this was gonna happen we knew it's been long coming it was inevitable we just didn't know how it was going to present but here it is i'm just going to pop up all the pictures from the moment that i captured like you needed to see the visual to understand how it was or how i or how i felt <laughs> watching it it cost one ad break no surprise allowing the expert to compose themselves because everyone was just off their rockets like it was chaos intent john John the expert, John Aikman the expert Carolina. Carolina didn't, we didn't think you would show up. And here you are, you, you're coming with Daniel. Help us out with what's happening. Daniel, dent world, you know, I'm going to speak for my, for my, for my uh, conquest here. Um, reveal that, reveal all that transpired between them, how they met up in secret and how they both now have uh, feelings for each other, the group, you know, again, like I said, their mouths are literally falling over. <laughs> After a brief interruption, Daniel continued, decided to build on their friendship while Carolina was with Dion. 
Carolina claims she wrote leave when she felt something for Daniel. She admitted to catching up the next day after Daniel left. In fact, they were just revealing it all, which is good because I, I like this country because everyone sort of knows how to sort of tell the truth <laughs> or embellished version of the truth, I think. Carolina felt Dion wasn't trying to be friend because that was what she wanted to be and Daniel defended Carolina by saying Carolina did the right did the right thing by him. They have been seeing each other for about two weeks, which is one and a half weeks after she met Dion. Basically, she didn't even make an effort with Dion. No way. Brent and Brent and Dion to Carolina. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Well, there you go. <laughs> Dion went on to express his shock. Poor guy, you could see the devastation all over his face. He turned complete red. Deep words were exchanged, with, to which Carolina tried to apologize. It was just an empty apology. There was just nothing coming out from her. She, I, I, I guess you could see shame <laughs> written all over her face. Well, I'm like, yeah, good for you. You dug your own grave, just lay on it. Uh, <laughs> they were asked, um, what do they like? What did they want to happen? Given why are they here? Why did they come come into the experiment or come in there that night? Daniel, <laughs> Daniel said he wants to come back into the experiment with Carolina to give it a go and immediately the um, group, the other couples just walked off like they were like I've had enough of this bullshit yes we are not gonna have be a part of this they all walked out first was Dion, next Tamara, Selena, Cody, Dominica and Jack, Ella, me, Samantha and Al they all left the experts <laughs> they left the room with the experts bewildered I would say Olivia and Jackson did not leave, just to make it very clear, it just tells you a lot more about that girl than uh, you would like to want to know or you would. <laughs> anyway, they had a moment to get things together and we go, you know, straight to um, what the best part were going to decide. Um, I felt the best part of them were going to give them a chance, but I am so glad that um, it, it didn't happen. Like, I felt the best part of them were going to say, let's keep these guys uh, as as uh, an opportunity to come into the experiment, but the right decision and common sense prevail, guys. I uh, I felt that if they had let them stay, it would have been a big slap to um uh, uh, Dion's face. But Carolina and Dion is still basically seeking. Or uh, Carolina and Daniel decided their reason for coming in or wanting to stay was to seek guidance from the experts <laughs> to help them uh, uh, to help their relationship blossom or grow. Like. <laughs> I don't even understand what they were thinking. The narcissistic people. It was the narcissism for me. Like, yeah, we don't care. <laughs> we want to give it a shot too. We want to get what the others are getting. Like, <laughs> the delusions. It was just unbelievable. Anyway, I'm just going to tell you what John said. John was like, this was his John statement. And I, in fact, I'm going to quote him verbatim. So give me a minute, guys. John said, what you are asking of us is very huge. We could hear whispers from the other groups, like they were talking between their ears, and the judge called it. There's absolutely no way we can allow you enter the experiment as a new couple. The reason is clear. This betrayal is incredibly uncertain and difficult for us all to witness, and there's no merit for the relationship you have to continue. I mean, there's no merit for the relationship for you to have to continue on, on the experiment. Daniel, you are no longer a part of what's going on here. Carolina, the way you have conducted yourself, the way you spoke to people, dealt with your partner, all the while cheating on your partner, is unlike anything they have seen. We could not live with ourselves to put such an unhealthy dynamics back into the experiment. Good job, guys. Mm -hmm. The deal breaker is how you treated you, and we can't go back from that, and we can't reward it. They went on to call her out on her antics and behavior. This is the episode to watch, guys. If you want to watch an episode of Married at First Sight, I will tell you, you're gonna get your money's worth with this episode because it taught everything that I felt the show didn't lack, if the show lacked, which was morals, values, respect for marriage. It was the episode that I felt, oh my God, this is what we should have been watching from season one right through to season nine but i'm glad it came up on season nine because it means that there's hope for these guys for season 10. so i got my money short basically for once kudos to the experts not everything is meant for tv honestly and including this nuisance bit of uh this nuisance that is carolina and daniel they were not don't give them any more airtime. Mm -hmm. don't encourage this sort of behavior 
um they were looking they, they, were, they were seeking advice john was like passed on to the other um, um, experts mel was like mm -hmm. um look at yourself in the mirror that's basically all I, all I can tell you look at yourself in the mirror and you know if you're happy with that then good on you alexandro uh, she had so much anger in her heart you could see her face she was so disappointed the fact that she is latina i guess also added to the disappointment and she said this honesty and vulnerability is a must for this experiment to succeed and it is not you i will not be giving any advice to you mic drop boom and they were booted off the show the end. <laughs> that was epic 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 and i am so happy Audio jump. the way they were all shit out like that Green. We finally see the decision from Olivia and Jackson that is they both decided to stay. We are almost at the end of this um episode, this show guys. This is the penultimate uh I'm well, not to I think this is the should I say the penultimate commitment ceremony. There's one more commitment ceremony to go for the season and um we we get to the final the finals the finals week and just to wrap up the the, the, the season. I am sort of happy that I've been able to share a lot of um, commentary with you guys. So, but there's a few more, few more episodes to go, which I will definitely be recapping on. This week is looking like a, a disastrous week again, but I don't know if it's gonna be as epic as tonight's episode. We start with the trailer for the week to come. There's a nude photo circulating, you know, in the in the apartment of this um, couple. I don't know whose nude, nude photo has been leaked, but we'll get to find out at some point later on in this week uh, i guess that is uh is noteworthy to kickstart the season finale <laughs> or um this, this yeah it was at ooh, we will see i don't know if i'm gonna be seeing nude photos i don't want to see anybody's nudes but i want to hear all the deets behind the nude photo that's for sure in the meantime guys please keep safe and i'll see you very soon bye